so the first one it's not so much a hidden feature as much as it's something that a lot of people are not aware about it's this diamond logo here on the steering wheel that is actually the favorite button and this can be configured to do a couple of things by either short press or long press to do this you go into your settings go to all settings hit features and then the first one on the list is favorite button now there's a few things that you can select as you can see short press I've set this to mute so if I'm listening to some music then I can quickly mute it in case someone else in the car wants to speak to me or I wanted to hear something on the roads when I'm driving I haven't set anything for the long press but just to show you some of the options here there's not a lot of options to be honest but they are here just in case you wanted to use this for any of these specific purposes the second little feature I wanted to highlight is the angle of this screen here so you, by default when you turn the car on the screen will actually come out at a certain length or a distance this is actually configurable so you can set how far you want it to come out or if you wanted to manually adjust it once it has come out you can do that so all you need to do is go into settings and it's right there as the first option screen angle as soon as I press the minus button it goes down very small amounts all the way down to fully closed like so so if you wanted it to lay it flat just like that maybe there's nothing on there specifically you need to look at whilst driving you can do that or you can just set it to come up to the maximum position so the next time you turn your car on this is the angle that it will open in the third hidden feature I'm going to talk about is the voice control so you have an option there on a steering wheel you guys are aware that this is there but there's something called voice tags that you can use that button for let me show you so if you swipe from the home screen you'll see that this is the extra features page just look for the option voice tap on this then you have something called voice tags so this is what I wanted to highlight in here you can set certain commands for three different scenarios either phone radio or if your Velar has this option then television not all Velars have this because this is something I added in my custom build so for this purpose I will choose radio because everyone has that these are two voice tags I've added before but I'm going to add a third one with you guys and show you how it works so you hit the plus icon I'm going to choose from one of my radio favorites let's scroll down and choose a third one for my voice tag I'll choose the one there at the bottom called Magic London the radio voice tag to store. Magic London. Now that it's stored, it's come up in the list as the third option. It has to basically match your voice for you to be able to utilize a voice tag. So now, the next time I press this button, I can ask the voice command to open up the Magic London radio station and it will automatically do that. And that's quite convenient so you can set this up for you know pretty much any radio station phone commands or if you have like favorite TV channels then you can also set it up with that I don't know if there's any limit of how many you can add but you just keep hitting the plus button and then you can go ahead and do that so let me go back to the home screen I'll go back to my radio station right now it's set to capital London I'm going to use the command to switch to magic London Turn on the radio station Magic London. Tuning to Magic London. There we go. Now it's very easy, very straightforward, and if I'm driving, I don't need to worry about fiddling with the screen whilst taking my eye off the road. So for me, you know, that's a very convenient feature to utilize the voice command button on the steering wheel. Right, so number four, it's now a little bit darker out because I wanted to show something with lighting so you know the cabin light that you can touch to turn on here turns it on for both the back and the central consoles that's something you guys are already aware of but what some of you might not be aware of is if you just hold this down for a few seconds with your finger you can actually trigger this to be turned on automatically when you open the car doors or have it off completely so here's an example I'm going to hold this down for a few seconds and on the driver display behind the steering wheel you'll see that this will confirm if it's turned on for automatic lighting interior lights are off now if I hold it down again for a few seconds interior lights are now set to auto 
so the next time I open the car doors because I have it set to auto the lights will automatically turn on but if I hold it down and I don't want them to turn on next time then I can switch this over to off and last but not least number five there's a little hidden switch just underneath the steering wheel to the right hand side this is the dimmer dial it's a tiny button if you press it it pops out a dial that you can twist and this will essentially turn down the brightness levels of all of the cabin lights so that includes the main glass screen and the screen below it the lights that you see on the steering wheels the lights in the driver display behind the steering wheels and the standard cabin lights not the ambient lighting ones but the ones that you see sort of inside the door handles and underneath your feet where the pedals are these will all be dimmed as soon as you twist that dial one of the reasons why you may want to do this is if you're driving at night time and it's very dark out the last thing you want is for your screen to be very bright regardless of whether it's on light mode or dark mode it can still hinder your driving if it is quite bright and without having the need to fiddle around with the brightness settings on the screen itself you literally press the button twist the dial and change the brightness levels of all of the lighting in the car so here's an example you see I've twisted it it's dimmed it put it back to full it's gone brighter you can see this happens for the steering wheel dim it down now it's very dim as you can see for the driver display make it bright again and it's much brighter so this makes a massive difference and is super convenient so it's one of those things that maybe a lot of people are not aware of that this exists but when you're driving it's very easy to access it's very easy to lower the brightness and it just saves you a lot of hassle so that's about it guys those were my top five little hidden features on every Range Rover Velo if you guys have anything else that you maybe want to let other users know about that you've noticed in your Velar models then drop a comment down below if you like this video and you like all things Velar make sure to subscribe I do various different tech videos all the time and I've got a Velar playlist which I'll also leave in the description below so make sure you check those out and I'll catch you guys at the next one take care